Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, until uh, this uh, Saturday, I didn't know that uh, I would be here. So <laughs> sorry if something goes wrong, but I'm uh, replacing my supervisor, uh, Professor Kristina Dombrowska. And uh, today I would like to tell you something about phage in the environment of animal and human gastrointestinal tract, uh, environmental pressure and immune response. Uh, as we know, uh, bacteriophages that are in the uh, gastrointestinal tracts are in a special situation. Uh, it means that the conditions which are in the intestine uh, influence impact on phages. Uh, and uh, the phages and these conditions are acidic uh, environment, uh, alkaline environment, temperatures, other uh, other proteins like enzymes, uh, and uh, what is more, the phage interacts with the immune system um, uh, also uh, with uh, uh, phages interact with immune system. And uh, let's move to uh, part one. Uh, let's start with uh, how gut uh, conditions affect phage. And conditions, uh, as, as I said, in the intestine that are uh, acidic uh, environment, like, for example, in stomach, alkaline environment, uh, like, for example, in the first part of the small intestine. Mm, temperature. Which one is it? Okay, let's uh, start with uh, T4, uh, T4 uh, phage structure. Uh, T4 phage uh, that predates on Escherichia coli being common in uh, gastrointestinal tracts has a complex structure. Um, in addition to major capsid pr protein like uh, GP23 that could be enough to make a shell for DNA, um, this phage uh, also has a uh, corner protein, it is GP24, uh, and uh, two non-essential proteins like HOC and uh, SOC. And uh, in our research, we compared T4 phage uh, variants without proteins, uh, GP24, HOC and SOC, and uh, their uh, different combination. Uh, for uh, their susceptibility to major psycho psychochemical factors that affect phage in gut. And uh, here we present results for acidic environment. Uh, and uh, we have uh, observed the strongest effect uh, had that removal of the GP24 protein and the common part uh, of uh, these uh, phages is lack uh, of uh, the GP24 in the corner. And it is like this, these three, four cases. Uh, and uh, so we can say about these results that uh, resistance to, the, to an ASIC environment is mediated by uh, GP24 uh, uh, protein. And uh, then let's move to the alkaline environment. Uh, here we can see uh, that the SOC protein is a uh, key to alkaline resistance in these cases. Uh, but we can also note that the lack uh, of GP24 protein makes the sensi this sensitivity higher. Mm. 
Here I would like uh, to show you our research that has never been done before. Uh, we can uh, observe that the lack of the GP24 protein makes the T4 phage more sensitive to the temperature in these cases. And I would like to say something more about this topic on the next slide. Uh, and in this picture, we can uh, we present a circular dichroism spectrum analysis. And uh, we know that uh, corner protein, uh, which is GP24 in T4 head, is extremely resistant to temperature. Mm. And then what we can see that the melting point uh, plot for GP24 uh, uh, should, this one, should uh, look like that for uh, GP23. Uh, so as a typical melting point uh, plot uh, for proteins, uh, we can see also that at 25 uh, degrees, Mm, both proteins uh, are doing fine, like GP23 and GP24, uh, uh, but uh, already at 80 degrees, uh, we can see that the spectrum for uh, GP23 is uh, abnormal, uh, while uh, for GP24, uh, the spectrum is uh, normal. So we can see that the protein is not denaturated in this temperature. And uh, we can add that uh, this protein is also stable until uh, 100 degree. Mm. In this slide, we have a small summary of this uh, first part. Uh, this figure shows uh, evolutionary pressure from gastrointestinal tract. And uh, in terms of increased temperature, low pH enzymes, increased pH and uh, other factors. And uh, this, um, this pressure leads uh, from the primitive, uh, from the primitive uh, stage of uh, T4 phage uh, with, uh, without uh, any special protein up to more complex uh, T4 phages with, uh, with other uh, proteins like GP24, SOC, and HOC. And uh, this pressure leads to, uh, from, leads to the uh, fact that T4 phage capsid composition demonstrates phage adaptation to gastrointestinal tract as the environment. Uh, let's move to the second part, uh, how the body reacts to uh, phages. And uh, as we know, for the production uh, of uh, antibodies uh, for phages, it is essential uh, that the immune system is exposed uh, to the phages. Uh, when delivered with uh, drinking water, phage uh, penetrates to uh, blood, but in low amounts. And uh, we can see this fact uh, on this picture uh, in, in terms of uh, red uh, bar graph. And uh, when uh, phage can interact with the immune system, both in the gut and systematically. Um, and we can also add that uh, the highest amount uh, of phages uh, we have for, uh, for large intestinal contents. What we can see, for example, for uh, this uh, last part of the graph. And uh, now I would like to say something about systemic induction of phage specific antibodies after oral delivery. Uh, and the model of our study was as follows. Uh, my, mice was uh, treated with phages in drinking water, then uh, no phages and uh, again phage in drinking water. Mm, and uh, we should notice that the color of the um, arrows 
corresponds with the color uh, on the plots. So uh, phages applied in drinking water induce uh, phase specific antibodies detectable in blood serum. Uh, a small peak of uh, IgM in uh, two uh, from two to four to four weeks of the treatment. A significant increase of uh, EG G that remained at the same high levels when phage was removed from the diet. And uh, late but significant, significant increase of uh, IgA uh, that declined with time when phage was removed from the diet. And what is important uh, and what is useful in the terms of phage uh, therapy, uh, serum EGI uh, levels are consistent with secretary uh, uh, IgA in mucus layers, including gut uh, IgA. And uh, what I can add is the fact that control mice were not treated with uh, the phages. And uh, this, uh, these results, uh, these presented results, uh, refers to uh, Staphylococcus phages, but uh, we get the same uh, results for uh, T4 phages. And um, moreover, gut uh, phage survival is determined by phage specific uh, EGA secretion. And we have uh, some plots. Uh, which demonstrate that uh, phages applied in drinking water were active in gut content uh, only when phage-specific uh, IgA in gut demonstrated low concentration. And phage activity uh, could be restored by temporary removal of phage from a diet uh, without uh, phage-specific uh, EGA levels decline uh, and in repeated application active uh, phage was detectable in gut content. And uh, as we know, antibody response to phage is a popular uh, term. In fact, antibody response uh, to phage is a sum of uh, responses to individual phage proteins that have different immunogenicity and function. Uh, and on the uh, right, uh, we can see uh, that uh, two phage protein are uh, highly immunogenic, like uh, HOC and uh, GP12. And uh, these uh, results uh, was confirmed by ELISA test. And uh, I can also add that protein GP12 is a protein uh, which uh, allows phage to attract to bacteria. And to sum up, uh, gastrointestinal tract is uh, the environment where phages enter multiple interaction with human or animal bodies. And physical chemical condition inside gut uh, are a source of evolutionary pressure for phages. Uh, gut phages challenge immune uh, system and induce production of phage specific antibodies, uh, both locally and systemically. Uh, the major limiting factor for phage bioavailability in uh, gut is fecal phage specific uh, EGA. And our acknowledgements. Thank you. Thank you, Katarzyna. Well, while the audience is thinking of his questions, perhaps I could start off with one. Your murine model that you use for detecting antibodies against your bacteriophage, were they germ-free or how did you ensure that this was their first exposure to these particular type of phage? Uh, I think I'm not uh, sure because I, was, uh, I wasn't doing this experiment. So uh, I think I'm not a good expert to give you an, an information and answer about this. Maybe uh, we can talk. Sure, yeah, but it's nice later. to see that you got both IgA and IgG antibodies against the phage. Mm -hmm. It was administered orally, so you're kind of having a systemic response. And I think the decline in your IgA 
when you remove the phage is what one would ordinarily see with IgA as it's kind of a prospective sampling system which keeps, we'll say, the immune profile of the anti uh, IgA antibodies current to what's present in the, in the particular mm -hmm. environment. Has anybody any questions for Katarzyna? No, okay, thank you very much, Katarzyna, thank you.